Cause I cringe every time it's on the radio And I think of Nathan being placed in a home And all the medicine you fed us in How I just wanted you to taste your own Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm Pisa Makeover Today I'm joined with Princess Ifia <laughs> Guys, today we are going to be checking out Eminem singing highlights. Okay. I think he featured someone, featured Nate Rose. I, I don't think I pronounced that way. Anyway. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. So, guys, this was recommended actually by one of my subscribers when I checked out. I think Eminem Mocking Bay did. Okay. This was recommended on Diary. So, we want to give this a try. I'm excited. I don't know if I've seen those before. I can't really remember for the name of the song. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. <laughs> Never thinking about who, what I said, hurt, and what verse. My mom probably got it the worst. The run of it, but it's stubborn as we are. Did I take it too far? Cleaning out my closet That's and all them other songs. But regardless, <laughs> I don't hate you, cause mom, you're still beautiful to me, cause you're my mom. Though far be it from you to be calm, my house was Vietnam. Desert storm, and both it was put together could form an atomic bomb, equivalent to chemical warfare. And forever we could track this. Song like this, that she puts it from the beginning, like as a right Eminem headline, that she puts, You may cry. Mm -hmm. Like, let me know so I will do it last for my video so my makeup doesn't smart from the beginning. You're actually being teary. <laughs> like, you need to specify. This is going to make you cry. More or less like viewer's discretion. Yes. Yeah, you may cry. You may cry. Like, like from the very beginning, when you just started, you just put, You may cry. You like, may cry. at least let us know. Let's be aware that we this may is cry. <laughs> Because the moment he just said mom, and I've checked out the video where he sang about his mother, so it's just guys. She's actually emotional today, it's guys. She's emotional. <laughs> <laughs> you bash me over the other video that I don't have emotions. Now you say I'm emotional. I feel your emotions have ways it's right in. It goes a certain <laughs> way, it doesn't go a certain way. But maybe because I think about some things different. Okay, but, sure, sure. But let's continue, guys. Equivalent to chemical warfare And forever we could drag this on and on But agree to disagree That gift for me up under the Christmas tree Don't mean shit to me You're kicking me out It's 15 degrees and it's Christmas Eve Little pick just leave Ma let me grab my fucking coat Anything to have each other's goats While we always at each other's throats Especially when dad he fucked us both We're in the same fucking boat You'd think that'd make us close nope. Further away it drove us But together headlights shine And car full of belonging Still got a ways to go like the grandma's house, it's straight up the road And I was the man of the house, the oldest So my shoulders carried the weight of the load Then Nick got taken away by the state at eight years old And that's when I realized you were sick And it wasn't fixable or changeable And to this day we remain estranged And I hate it though, but I guess we are who we Yeah, are. I know this is bad To this day we remain estranged and I hate it though Cause you ain't even get to witness your grandbabies wow. grow But I'm sorry mama for cleaning out my closet at the time I was angry rightfully maybe so Never meant that far to take it though Cause now I know it's not your fault And I'm not making jokes That song on the longer play it shows And I cringe every time it's on the radio And I think of Nathan being placed in a home And all the medicine you fed us in How I just wanted you to taste your own But now the medication's taking over And your mental state's deteriorating slow And I'm way too old to cry This shit is painful though But Ma, I forgive you So does Nathan, yo If you've listened to Clean at my closet You Oh, no, I don't Description like viewers description. Let us know Aww. this video is emotional <laughs> because when I checked out clean as my closet, like I really felt bad for Eminem. You see, when you look at celebrities, you just feel like their life is a fairy tale. They just woke up one morning and everything just, just went just well. like okay. Let me say just like you see the way the King Kardashians do this sport uh, story life stuff shows, about. Okay. You just feel like oh, this other life is so easy, so simple. But when you listen to Eminem, you know that. There's a lot of story behind his life. Yeah, There's a lot of story I, behind where he's coming from. So yeah. it's always very emotional. And we see at the point he said clean as my clothes. That's when I even remember the song. I'm like, okay. I just and does it mean his mom actually kicked him out? 
oh, you okay. If I'm reacting next time, I'm going to put like at least five of Eminem's songs so you mm. understand the story about him okay. because he, he had a lot of issues with his mom. Then his wow. father, also, his father was never there, so I think his mom was drinking and smoking. Yeah, because she said he, he said he realized he had she had some issues and the issues couldn't be resolved which means it couldn't be fixed and anything which can't really be fixed is i think within you so i feel she either had um drunk and uh, like whatever it is i feel it was just you know yeah it that within her awesome. I really feel yes. I think true. after he sang that came at my closet. I don't know if his mom sued him or what? maybe he felt bad for it because he sang under that song okay. apologizing about that song. But I think in my comments, people were saying like he was sued or something. Wow. But I'm not really, really certain sure. about it. Wow, life but is and life then is, is, life is not like fair. Like one of my best artists that sings from within. Like you, I get it. You're not supposed to put out your dirty learning outside, but this yeah. is him expressing himself. He just go to the studio, sing about what he's going through. I think this is his way to actually get over things. Some people actually get over things by telling other people. Some people get um, through like writing a memoir about themselves. Yeah. Some people write stories about themselves and post online. That is that, the only way they feel they, they um, get Ghana, out of trauma. Ghana actress that yeah, Yvonne Nelson. You see, she herself. actually had to write a whole memoir about herself, and I feel she's okay. Then this girl also, this girl mm-hmm. summer cat. Oh, okay. I don't know if you watch it. It's a collegial show, Summer Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I think watched Sam it. wrote a Sam book about herself. I see. She had a lot of things to say about cats, though. Wow. So I just feel it's people's way of expressing themselves. themselves. Yeah, because people are dying inside and they don't know how to express, you know, heal on them their yeah. own. You get it? Yeah. Some people don't know how to forgive, um, to forget past issues unless they express themselves. And sometimes I feel when you have something in you that is bothering you, you see, they say a problem um, Share. shared is a problem half, half solved. solved. Exactly. And I feel minus the fact that the person may or may not help you, mm-hmm. just the fact that you are letting it out, out from your heart, it actually makes you feel better. Yeah, like, it, it lifts like a certain there's burden. This yeah, thank you. Sure. No, Ted. No, Ted. <laughs> it's like it's beautiful, guys. Yeah. But let's continue with this. Mm-hmm. All you did, all you said, you did your best to raise us both. Foster care that cost you bear. Few may be as heavy as yours, but I love you, Debbie Mathers. Oh, what a tangled web we have. Cause one thing I never asked was where the fuck my deadbeat dad was. Fuck it, I guess he had trouble keeping up with every address. But I'd have flipped every mattress, every rock and desert cactus. On a collection of maps and follow my kids to the edge of the atlas. Someone ever moved them from me? That you could have bet your asses. If I had to come down the chimney dressed as Santa, kidnap him. And all the one has only met the grandma once. You pulled up in our drive one night as we were leaving to get some hamburgers. Me, her, and Nate, we introduced you, hugged you. And as you left, I had this overwhelming sadness come over me as we pulled off to go our separate paths. And I saw your headlights as I looked back. And I'm mad I didn't get the chance to thank you for being my mom and my dad. So, mom, please accept this as a tribute. I wrote this on the jet. I guess I had to get this off my chest. I hope I get the chance to lay it for him. Dad, this dude is said to fasten my seatbelt. I guess we're crashing. So, if I'm not dreaming, I hope you get this message that I will always love you from afar. You're my mom. I guess we are who we are. shining in the dark night I drive on. Maybe we took this too far. I want to move I mean, this is. This is. Um, Don't do this to me, I mean, eh. Guys. This was very sad, yeah. and and I think when you are coming this song, from you just be like, it's a sad song. It's a sad song. I actually I wasn't have to ready my for this. After this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wasn't ready for this. At all. This guy has been through a lot. Yeah. He said he was actually okay. If my ears were right, he said he was. Um, he started playing the head of the family, like the 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 yeah, father. father yeah, to the children. yeah, at the age of eight. A lot of people, a lot of people are going through something like that. And yeah. I, just, I feel so bad for them. I see when he talked about like um, the father coming to visit them, but uh, he guess he can't keep up with the different addresses. Address. Like I don't know. Which means he doesn't even know when they move from this side, yeah, from this area to the other. Sometimes I just wonder how some men 
behave that way to their family like don't you feel like there's something missing within you when your kids they are not there you not grow up with them you not take care of them you just keep you are not there them. for them you are not there for them you don't know how they survive and some some of all these fathers they will still come out and be like um you're supposed to give me something as for that they might be in the house that drunk every day yeah they don't do anything that, yeah. and they'll just keep stealing your money and when you start getting things in this life they'll keep coming to your workplace yeah <laughs> like i get it you brought me to this world but like what you made impact. you made the world miserable after bringing a child to this world and what do you expect what impact do you have on that child like how Zero. do some parents sleep at night because no matter how bad his mom was at least she, she was there yeah he said he was she was actually his mom and his dad it's like people just think this is just a one or two times but a lot of people grew up in houses like this their parents are not divorced their parents are not separated the father is just either the father beat. is dead beat or the mother is a dead beat or both of them just don't care, care about their kids and I can never understand that. I can never understand bringing someone into this world and not taking care of them. Okay. Just put them up for adoption. Like yeah, if you're just too lazy to work, parents if you are just parents. too careless to not put on a condom, put them up for adoption. I just don't know because a lot of children grow up grow up thinking that their family don't love them. Because if you come out of a broken home, a home where there's no love, there's no peace, there's no joy. How would you survive in society? Yeah, society because actually seems... You see, everything becomes so of negative, you know? Yes, be, it's because of where the, everybody's coming from. Because they say charity begins at home. If your home does not preach about things Ch- like yeah. this, if your home does not um, encourage you to be who you are, yeah. make you know that you need to feel your... Like, you need to yeah. have high self-esteem, yeah. you need to be... Like, if your home is not building you, yeah, you if you come out to society, how are you going to be built? How are you going to react? Build the society. You, you, you actually wouldn't be a positive um, influence to society. They are going to, they, it's just like garbage in, garbage out. It's the only thing you can bring out is what you have within. Yeah. If what is within you is hatred that they have given to you, your parents are hating, your siblings don't like you, or no one listens to you at home, it's exactly what you are going to give out. You might go out when they're talking in the, um, let me say, the sector that's like mm-hmm. maybe the way we are right now is yeah if you are speaking like this you're not going to talk because whenever you speak at home keep quiet yeah your opinion is not needed yeah or you are in the house that no one shows you love because yeah. there are some children i mean let me say yeah you're a gay your parents give it to some boys and you're the only gay some parents some fathers don't even like the fact that they have daughters daughters this is true there's this ready story i was reading and the guest said her father has been tolerating her so she overheard him on the phone saying that what does what did they want him to do that he was praying for a gay and uh, for a boy but he ended up getting a gay and his wife says she wants only one child so the only thing he can do to just act like she just does not exist whenever Whoa. she leaves the house like lord have mercy if also yes something like that like You're i don't gone. know you how are I gone would react. you are gone a dead be dead dead my be father say that he didn't even want me. Uh-huh. He wanted a guy, and when he got a girl, he just think the best thing to do is to avoid her. And she said he had been avoiding her all her life, and uh-huh. she's about to turn eighteen. May she find a um, peace in her soul. We she should is. we should be nice to our family members, starting from there first. If you cannot be nice to your family members, if you cannot be nice to your friends, I don't know what you can give out to the world. If you can't train the children you brought into this world, if you can't treat them well, I don't know who else you can be nice yeah, to. Sure, sure. <sighs> this was nice. This Eminem. was really interesting. Eminem is good. I love his music. I enjoy it every time. And I love to see more. And since he haven't checked out a lot of his songs, so mm-hmm. I think when next I'll be reacting, maybe next week, okay. I'll bring like at least four, five, so you guys respect it all right so guys thank you so much for listening to this thank you for hearing us out thank you for joining us so guys let me give out the honors to end it (laughs) so what (laughs) all right closing remark (laughs) okay thank you very much for joining us we appreciate your time and your energy we hope to see you in our next video bye